Hello, my avid readers. I hope you're ready to do a lot of reading today. Remember, good reading happens when you practice reading with a friend or by yourself or your parent, grandparent, or someone else reads with you for 15, 20 minutes a day. That is what an avid reader does. Yesterday, we talked a lot about how or the days before we've been talking a lot about how avid readers think and they feel the characters' feelings that they're feeling. And then yesterday, I reminded you about how super readers don't forget their other tr things that they've learned um, using their pointer power, picture power, and all of that stuff we went over. So all of those super reading powers help you become a more avid reader. Well, today I'm going to give you some more ideas of how you can be an avid reader. So over here on the other side, I have on this page, it's called Reading Play Dates. So this is something I want you to try at home with whoever is there with you. And these are things that you can do to make you become more of an avid reader. So first thing you or whoever's with you is you're going to pick one. You're going to pick one of these things that I'm going to talk about to do. Then you're going to play it and then you can do it again. Now you may be thinking, what are you talking about, Mrs. Canary? Pick one what? Play one what? Do it again what? What are you talking about? Well, let's look at this page right here. It says, what are reading play dates? Well, it's a fun way for you to read. Let's talk a little bit more about that. So a reading play date. One way that you can become more of an avid reader is you can play school with the book that you have. So you can decide whoever's reading with you today. You can be the teacher or they can be the teacher. You can be the student, they can be the student. And you can play school and if you know the book really well, then you can ask them questions along the way, or they can ask you questions along the way. And it would be fun for you to try and read your book this way. Another way that you could play your game is you could do a read aloud. You could act like you were the teacher and you could read the story aloud to your parent or grandparent. That would be super fun. Something else is you could do a shared reading and that means that you along the way you are asking them questions and they are answering your questions while you're reading the story just like your teacher does um, in the classroom now to the fun part the games part how do we play games with our stories with our books well we could go on a snap word hunt we could see who can find the most snap words in our reading stories that would be fun to do. You can challenge. I bet I can find more snap words than you. You could play the game, guess what's next? So you could be reading a story and then you could ask your parent or grandparent, what do you think is going to happen next? Remember how we talked about that's called predicting? So they can play the guessing game. What do you think is going to happen next? You can play the alphabet puppet game where you say a letter sound Let's say it's like this one over here. It's the P. Pah. And you can ask them, find the letter that says P. Or they can ask you, find the letter that says T. And then you can go and find it. So that's another game that you could play with your book. Something else you could do is you could play Guess the Feeling. As you're reading through your stories, remember we talked about how we like to have the characters. We like to feel how they're feeling. So you could play Guess the feeling game. As you're reading along in the story, you could ask them, well, what do you think they're feeling like? Do you think they're happy or sad? Or do you think they're scared? Or do you think they are sad? What do you think they're feeling? Sorry, I went too far on that one. So those are some games that I want you guys to try today when you're working on becoming an avid reader. I will have these on the screen for you to look at, for you guys to go through. And it's just a fun way to get you more excited about reading and hopefully help you still become an avid reader. All right, my friends, have a great day of reading and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.